Uh, yeah, I definitely thought about that. And the thing about feelings is they're counterfeit. So if you go off of your feelings, anyone that's, that learns from life learns that their feelings can be totally wrong and lead them astray very often. So feelings isn't enough. You can't just be, oh, I know this because it's the way it feels. We need something more. We need God's intervention. And the way that God has chosen to intervene in a person's life is through three things. It's not through church attendance. It's not through trying to be a good person. It's not through changing your mindset. It's through repentance, which means changing directions, putting your faith and trust in God instead of yourself, and making a choice to follow the Jesus of the Bible. Because if you follow him, you'll be led totally into the right place and into true life and into healing and freedom and forgiveness of sins. Have you ever thought of any of this before? Um, I went to church when I was younger. Was it Catholic or Christian? Christian church. I also went to a Mormon church when it was my friend's family for a while. Well, Mormonism is a, is a cult. There's a difference, you know, because they follow men. And like Christianity is about a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God through God's spirit living in us. So what do you think about what I'm saying? You can be honest. Do you, what do you think of the idea that I'm saying you're a sinner in need of a savior? I mean, I've known Christians all of my life. And I feel like you guys are really passionate and I have a lot of respect for it. I do. I have a lot of respect for it. But the thing is, indifference, like... Have you made a have you made a choice that either have you made a choice? Do you believe that all of it's fake? Do you believe it's true or you're undecided? I believe like I said before, it's all true in its own right. For sure. But the problem is it can't all be true. Because you know Muslims kill Christians in other countries and Hindus kill Christians and in North Korea they believe oh, that you. the you know, the little chubby guy that uh, is the dictator, uh, Kim Jong-un, yeah, yeah. is God. So he's not God, right? The guy that is a horrible dictator that starves his people so that he can live that and do horrible things and kill. And they kill Christians in North Korea, too. So it's not all the same thing. Like, God, who, you know, God isn't the one uh, that's killing himself in the Ukraine-Russia stuff. It's not like, oh, Putin's doing the right thing for God and Ukraine's are doing that. No, there has to be somebody's right and somebody's wrong. And so in the same thing, when it comes to Jesus, he made claims that nobody else made. Did you, who, what spiritual path would you say you follow? Um, eclectic. <laughs> How long have you had anxiety and depression? For a long time. So even though you've had all of that anxiety and depression, these spiritual answers haven't solved them. Well, I mean, neither did Christianity. But that, that's what I'm trying to say, Trinity, that you haven't tasted of true Christianity yet. I'm not, and there could be reasons why. I'm not saying that everything you're ever exposed to wasn't true, but there can be something in your heart. Did you ever see The Matrix? Obviously, I've seen you The have, Matrix. Okay. My name's Trinity. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're named after? No. No, I was, my middle name's actually Adonai. There's a kid out here whose parents call him Neil because they were, they're Thail from Thailand. He's a student here. It's just funny. Like, it's not his real name, but his parents called him that because they saw the Matrix. But it's like if you're exposed to something in the Matrix that's still not real, you need to be pulled out of the Matrix. And the Bible kind of, I'm not saying the Matrix is the gospel, but what I'm saying is that if you can understand that concept that there's like things in this world that are really trapping us and enslaving us and ensnaring us, and we are in agreement with them because we're sinners. We can't solve it. We can't get out on our own. God had to enter into this mess, die on a cross, take the judgment for your sin, overcome it, rise from the dead, something you and I can't do, in order to free us and liberate us. And it's a supernatural thing. 